Jerry of the Circus. for Jerry of the Circus. You better save some room for dessert, Mr. Grayson. Well, don't tell me you have any room for pie, Jerry, after all that food you just put away. I sure have. Then I could eat two pieces. <laughs> yeah, or maybe three. <laughs> See, Mr. Grayson, how they treat me around here. Even bumps. Doesn't seem to hurt you much. Aw, oh, gee, here comes the pie. Apple. Am I hungry? I never saw so much food. They certainly feed you well around this place, don't they? Well, they sure do. It's a good way to keep performers happy. We have to keep our animals happy in the same way. You haven't seen Jason's cats yet, have you, Mr. Grayson? No, I haven't. I'd like to. I'm glad to take you around after lunch if you've got time. Sure thing. Then I'll have to be running, or else my clients will think I'm neglecting them. But you've all been mighty nice to me this morning. Wish I could return it in some way. Hey, just a minute. I've got an idea. What? I'm engaged to the grandest girl in the world. And can she make spaghetti? Why don't you all come around to my place after the show tonight, and we'll have a party? Well, that sounds mighty nice, but it seems to me it's kind of a lot to ask of a girl who doesn't even know us. She'd love to do it. She was heartbroken because she couldn't go to the show with me yesterday afternoon, but she'd be tickled to death to meet you all personally. Gee, it'd sure be fun. Spaghetti. Golly, sounds swell. Oh, oh, oh there you go, thinking of food again, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about it, folks? We'd love to have you. Well, don't you think your girl would rather catch the show? No, I'm sure she'd much rather meet you all. Well, seems like a lot of work, but if you're bound to do it, <laughs> I'm sure I'd enjoy coming. And ask Mr. Randall, too. I'm sorry he had to leave early. He's always jumping up for meals to go and take care of something or other. He said something about having to see Johnny. Oh, you mean the old clown who usually eats at this table? Yeah, the one that lost his duck this morning. Why don't you ask him, too? I'd enjoy meeting him. Jerry, uh, could you ask them for me? Sure thing. I'll find out if they can come and, and while you're looking at Jason's cat. Then I'll, I'll let you know before you go. Good, because I'll have to let Sally know how many to prepare for. Yeah, you better count Jerry as two people. Just look at his plate. <laughs> it's clean as a whistle. They won't have to wash it. That's one thing, sure. <laughs> Don't let them kid you, Jerry. We'll see that you get enough spaghetti tonight. Well, looks like the rest of you are pretty near through. If you'll excuse me, I'll go and find Mr. Randall and Johnny Bradley... And see if they can come to the party tonight. <laughs> uh, you run along, boy. I think I'll go with Jason and Mr. Grayson over to the cat cages. Okay. I'll see you over there. So long. Goodbye. Johnny Bradley. Yes, uh, Bradley. He's the clown. Oh. Well, I guess I've heard him referred to as just Johnny. Well, was anything wrong? No. Uh, Bradley's an old family name of ours, though. Just seemed kind of familiar. Ever had any circus folks in your family? Not that I know of. Uh, my dad's an actor. Our folks were show folks a long way back. But I'm quite sure I haven't heard of any of the family being in the circus end of show business. Well, I guess we've just about cleaned up. Shall we start moving? Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, am I full? Uh, how can you folks work on such full stomachs? Well, you see, Grayson, we're outdoors a lot. And after all, the type of work we do is pretty strenuous. <laughs> I suppose that all helps our appetites. I certainly envy you folks spending the whole summer out in the open like this. It is nice out today. Yeah, but what about last night? You see, Mr. Grayson, we've got to take the bad with the good. Did that wind bother you last night? I, I wondered about that. Well, did it? We almost had a blowdown in the menagerie tent. You don't say. Yeah, the worst we've had in a long time. That menagerie tent took the brunt of the wind. Hmm. 
I can see there's lots of excitement with an outfit like this. Yeah, I'll say so. Oh, say, Jason, I forgot to ask you about Daisy. What got into her last night? Oh, uh, here we are now. These are my charges, Mr. Grayson. Mm, they certainly look well kept. Oh, you bet they are. Best care in the world. Well, you're not telling me about Daisy, Jason. What is it, a secret? No, it's just a sore spot. First time in years I've had to cut any of my act. Oh, of course, now and then, something serious turns up, but... You had to cut part of the act? Yeah. You remember that line that jumps over all the others? I should say I do. A magnificent jump. Well, when she came into the arena, I knew something was wrong, but I couldn't tell just what. Well, she got her commands all balled up. Well, I'll say she did. And acted so nervous and nasty. She made a couple of passes at me, and she's one of the gentlest lines I've got. Here she is in this cage. She is a beauty. Uh, what was wrong, Jason? Well, I didn't know myself till I came back after the act. Evidently, a gust, gust of wind must have blown up just as she came out of her cage and started down the runway. You see her eye is still swollen. Yes, yeah, I can see it's inflamed. Well, when I came back after the act last night, her eye was most swollen shut. Oh, poor dear. That wind must have blown something sharp into her eye. What'd you do? Well, I washed it out with a solution. But with her eye as bad as that, how, how could you get near her? Well, I did it from the outside of her cage. Well, how? I got one of the keepers to help me. We gave her some meat so as to get her head over close to the bars. Oh, poor thing. Do you think she knew you were trying to help her? I think so. Because when we used a large fork to hold her head still, she didn't put up much of a fight. Well, then I daubed her eye out good. Quite a business caring for animals, isn't it? I should say it is. Jason! Mr. Grayson! Uh, here we are, Jerry. Oh, I didn't see you behind the cage. How's Daisy today, Jason? Fine. Well, Jerry, did you see Mr. Yeah. Randall and... He said thanks awfully. He'd like to come. But when I asked Mr. Bradley, well... well what's the matter? Can't he come? Well, he was making up and... I couldn't tell for sure, but he acted kind of surprised or something. Well, that's natural enough. He doesn't know Mr. Grayson. It is unusual to be asked to a party by someone you don't know. No, it wasn't exactly that. I, I couldn't quite figure out what was wrong. Well, Bradley's quite a stickler for etiquette. <laughs> Probably thought as long as he hadn't met his host, he'd better oh, not... Oh, I'd be very glad to ask him personally. Why don't you take me around, Jerry? Sure, I'll be glad to. Well, he's probably made up by now. Guess I'd better be getting going myself. <laughs> After all, there is a show going on this afternoon. Well, I'll say goodbye to you now, then, Mr. Grayson. I'll see you tonight. Be sure to tell Miss Patsy I'll be expecting her, too. <laughs> you can count on me. Come on, then, Mr. Grayson. We'll drop by Mr. Bradley's wagon on the way out. Bye, folks. Uh, so, so long. long. Goodbye. Pretty nice friends you've got here in this circus, Jerry. I'll say so. I'm getting to know more of them better every day. Say, Mr. Grayson. Yes? How long do you think it'll take to get all that business taken care of at the Superior Court? You mean how long before you can get to that box of your dad's? Yeah, I guess that's what I'm most anxious about. It's pretty hard to say, Jerry. It just depends when it comes up on the court calendar. Well, gee, I, I'll sure be glad when it's all over with. So will I, for your sake. Well, this is Mr. Bradley's wagon. Uh, Mr. Bradley! Hello. It's me again, Mr. Bradley. May I bring my friend in? He wants to meet you. Mr. Bradley, did you hear me? Oh, uh, yes, yes, of course, Jerry, of course. Uh, I was just finishing my dressing. Uh, uh, come right in. This is my lawyer friend I was telling you about, Mr. Bradley. My name's Grayson. I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Bradley. How do you do? Mr. Grayson caught the show yesterday. Yes, yes, I know. Um, that is, uh, I mean, well, uh, did you enjoy it, young man? Indeed I did, sir. And I enjoyed your comedy with the duck very much. Oh, gee, that's nothing. You should see him do uh, it. Uh, Jerry's a very loyal little friend. <laughs> He's my understudy. Understudy? Yes. Yep. And just think, I, I could have gone on yesterday afternoon, but they couldn't find me. Wasn't that bad luck? I hope you weren't indisposed, sir. It was no consequence. Uh, you'll excuse my appearance, uh, my makeup. <laughs> but I get ready early and then sit and read a little. Uh, too time to go on. Not at all, sir. Though I must say, I, I have no idea what you really look like if I should happen to see you on the street tomorrow. Yes, a clown's makeup is a pretty good disguise. Yeah, I found that out. You sure miss not seeing him do it. Uh, uh, Jerry tells me you were kind enough to include me in a little party tonight. Yes, sir. That's why we came by. Everyone's been so kind to me around here, I, I sort of thought a little party might be nice for a change. Uh, you're very kind, but uh, I'm afraid I won't be able to come, though. Oh, I... please don't refuse. I'm going to get my fiancée to, to make... Fiancée? Yes. Yeah, you see, she makes marvelous spaghetti. I thought it might be nice for a change, and so... Fiancée? You... Uh, you mean you're engaged? Why, yes, of course. Uh, but why didn't you tell me? I... I... Uh, I... I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean, sir. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, of course. I... 
I'm forgetting myself. I, uh, you must excuse me, my boy. Surely. Uh, aren't you feeling well? Oh, yes, yes. I'm quite all right, thank you. Uh, for a moment, I was, uh, I was thinking of something else. Uh, so, you're engaged to be married, eh? Yes, sir. Uh, of course, we'll have to wait a while yet. You see, I'm just beginning in business. It takes a little while to get started. Wasn't it nice of Mr. Grayson to be willing to help me out about the box of Dad? Indeed it was, Jerry. I'm only too happy he came to me. Guess I've got a soft spot in my heart for show folks. Yeah, his dad was a great actor. Isn't that something to be proud of? He still is a great actor, Jerry. Yes, Mr. Bradley, I'm pretty proud of my father. Well, 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 I... So you see, we'll have lots in common, I'm sure. Can't I prevail on you to join us after the show tonight? Yeah, please, Mr. Bradley. We'll have lots of fun. Well, I'm sure you will. And I should like very much to meet your young lady, Mr. Grayson. But uh, I'm afraid I'll have to deprive myself of the honor this time. Oh, say, that's too bad. I, I thought sure you'd come if Mr. Grayson asked you personally. Well, I'd like to, Jerry, very much. Uh, but you know my old heart can't stand as much as it used to. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Oh, it's nothing, nothing, I assure you. But, well, I've had a couple of pretty big shocks in the last two days. I guess I'd just better take it easy. I'm sorry. Sally will be sorry, too. Sally? Is uh, that her name? Sally Grayson. Well, uh, <laughs> she's not Sally Grayson yet, Mr. Bradley. Oh, no. No, of course not. Uh, I'm afraid we've kept you too long now. Goodbye, Mr. Bradley. I'm certainly glad to have met you. And I'm mighty glad to have seen you. I... Uh, you're sure you won't change your mind? Oh, thank you. I, I don't dare risk it. Goodbye, then. Coming, Jerry? Sure. See you later, Mr. Bradley. Hello there, Mr. Randall. Oh, hello. Uh, well, what are you uh, two doing in Johnny's wagon? Trying to get him to join us tonight. But he turned us down. See you later, Mr. Randall. After the show tonight. Yes, yes. Glad to come. Thank you, Grayson. Johnny, Johnny, uh, you all right? Yes. Yes, I'm all right. But uh, what happened? My son, my son, to see me in a clown's makeup. Didn't he recognize you? Oh, no, not with this grotesque face on. Uh, yes, but uh, your voice. So I changed it a very little, but just enough. And after all, he'd, he'd scarcely expect to find me here. And after all the trouble I went to to keep him away from you. Tides of fate, Mr. Randall. Tides of fate. Johnny, why don't you chuck your pride and go to that party tonight? Surprise you, No, boy. no, I couldn't. He'd be proud of you. Don't ask me, Mr. Randall. Don't ask me. 